Hey friends, this is Tamara Rubin again. I wanted to do a quick another video on this Pyrex thing. First off, I wanted to tell you it's made in Germany. It says number 1339 and um, it's a clear glass water bottle with white lead paint and the federal government considers lead paint to be uh, by definition lead paint if it's more than 5,000 parts per million lead and this is over 19,000 parts per million lead. So. If this was on a house, it would be considered uh, something in requiring remediation. So I'm going to do a lead check swab and shake. And I don't know what the results are going to be. I know it's 19,000 when you test it with a um, XRF instrument. But I, I tell people frequently that the um, lead check swabs don't always work on dishware and enamel and things like that, even if they are high lead. Now this is kind of an interesting result that I don't know if you'll be able to see clearly on the screen. And one other thing I wanted to say also is that the um, the glass tested positive for trace levels of cadmium below 20 parts per million. So this to me is very clearly light pink. I don't know if you can see that. I just wanted to show you. So it is testing pink, which means some is able to come off or it is able to react with the exterior, but it's taking a while so it's not like you wouldn't say, oh, this is definitely high lead paint just from testing with the reactive agent home test kit. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not lead paint. And it also doesn't mean that the kits are defective because the kits are intended for testing house paint. I think you can see there pretty clearly the pink on the end of this. Hold on, let's see. Um, I'm putting it against my hair as the background so you can see it's not a reflection of the pink from the background there. All right, that's what I want to show you that yes, this also tests positive with the swab. I wasn't sure if it would, but it did, even though it's very low lead, uh, light lead. We know it's 19,000 when tested with an XRF instrument, and there's a concern for it wearing off and adding to the aggregate lead exposure in your life. And the main thing is there are other brands of water bottles like Life Factory and um, others that make fully lead-free water bottles. So why choose a bottle that has lead and why let our manufacturers continue to make products with lead in the paint at levels that's definitely at a considered unsafe for humans when we have lead-free options out there. We even have lead-free paint that could be on these bottles, like the Avent baby bottles are painted with lead-free paint. They should just be using a different formulation. They choose not to. Thanks for being here. Lead Safe Mama, LeadSafeMama.com, TamaraRubin.com.